Hello there everybody, we have a new arrival today, Nissan Skyline GTR 32 in pearl white color. So in this video I'd like to tell you a little bit about the car, the owner, the story of the car and owner and at the end of the day I'll be delivering the car to the port. So stay with me and let's check out the car first. So this Nissan Skyline GTR 32 is year 1984 March edition actually. So it's going to be USA import legal in the March of 19. Uh, 2019. So story of the car, Dane from California actually contacted us with a search, in a search of uh, Nissan Skyline GTR 32 in a white color, pearl white with Nismo Aero parts. Actually he was interested purchasing uh, the one that we had, V-Spec edition, a 993 GTR 32, but as you guys know who has been watching my videos and uh, the, that car was sold to Tommy. Tommy Fia, he's a famous YouTuber. He makes uh, YouTube videos uh, on Facebook actually, uh, on YouTube actually. So he decided to proceed with the car and Dane basically was not able to purchase it. Uh, so he made a special inquiry to my shop basically and he decided, he asked me for the car that he was looking for, which is again, pretty much white R32 GTR, good condition with aero parts. And we were able to source him this car. If, if you notice, this car has got number of upgrades and let's go through one by one right now. It's got Nismo bumper, Nismo aero ducts like this, it has fog lights, it has grill like this, which makes the car look cool. It also has got the, uh, the Nismo hood mall actually, hood, top hood mall actually as well. Uh, what else the car has got? The car has got quite a number of aftermarket parts. This one looks like V-Spec edition, uh, the genuine wheels, but it's not. It's aftermarket wheels. Uh, it's got Brembo clippers actually, Brembo brakes, which is just like as it is on the V-Spec editions, which is pretty cool. Good for the car. It's got Nismo side skirts. What else the car has got, as we can see? Um, uh, it's got uh, the aftermarket muffler, it's something that we highly recommend to our customers usually to get an aftermarket uh, muffler for especially GTR 32s and this muffler is HKS Super Dragon Muffler which is one of the best muffler exhaust systems that you can get for the car. So as the under the wing, what do you call it in English? Uh, this one is also Nismo Aero part basically uh, but hey, remind me what it is guys. So. Um, so it's got a number of upgrades as you can see so far on its exterior and those are the main upgrades the car has got on its uh, basically uh, cosmetic upgrades upgrades that has on its exterior which is pretty cool so far and some of the issues of the car when it comes to the exterior I was talking to Dane before purchase as well is that it's got some a little bit of a damage here as you guys can see which is no problem it's a cosmetic damage it can be fixed you know and the car needs a repaint for this part as well and some cracks here as well as you can see maybe here and uh, it needs to be taken off and properly put it back or fixed and properly put it back which is something that can be done again no problem at all in my YouTube videos, as if you guys are watching, I always ask people to pay attention for the condition of the rust and this, this car's rust condition is pretty good. I mean, this is not, it's not a rusty car as well. I can see it from here actually. Here we go. So pretty much this car is a good clean car and good for Dane. I was talking about that as well. And car need the, the accident of the car as well. Uh, the car doesn't have any kind of a big accident or anything, which is pretty good as well. It's a good car for uh, with a good condition. It's quite rare actually to be able to find cars like this. And it took us almost right now, what, two months to be able to source a car like this for Dane in a white color with a Nismo Aero parts and a USA import legal edition. Because again, those cars are becoming rarer and rarer. Some of the other issues of the car that I like to point that out as well is a little bit over here. Um, I mean, it's again, it's cosmetic. If you, I mean, if you don't mind uh, replacing this part, I mean, car can look pretty awesome. So uh, the little bit of a sun damage here on the uh, on the, uh, the, the the rear mirrors as well, something that to be taken care of this part as well as you can see some cracks here and it needs to be taken off and properly put back or maybe you just can take it off altogether uh, and there is a little bit of uh, what else we have there is little bit of crack here actually right there or right here this is also a little bit of a what do you call it the the paint issue or a little bit of a hit or whatever it is but it's a fixable it's no problem it just needs some love and care which I'm sure 
Dane will be happy to provide. Uh, and actually, last thing, one of the last things, this panel as well needs probably work on it a little bit. Uh, and that's going to be pretty much it for the exterior of the car and its condition. Basically, it's not a bad car. It's a very lo much lovely GTR 32 in a white color. If you guys noticed the other V-Spec edition that we had for sale, which Tommy ended up purchasing, had 151,000 kilometers. Although it was really lovely, pretty awesome, clean car as well. This car compared to that one only has got 76,000 kilometers, which is uh, exactly half the mileage of the other car that basically Dane initially wanted to purchase. But taking a look, closer look, interior of the car, just so that you guys know before i talk too much about the car car hasn't been properly washed yet and it's a little bit dusty which is not a big deal really but uh, let's take a closer look on the interior of the car uh i hate this noise let me run the engine actually so that we can secure the engine instead so here we go this is the interior of the car so far uh, handle is good condition so as the dashboard pretty much uh, as you guys also understand from uh, from my other videos and you guys are pretty much GTR professionals as well most of you GTR 32's dashboard whenever the car is kept under the Sun this part gets a bubbly actually uh, and as you can see the car here doesn't have any dashboard bubble or anything like that what it means is that the car has been kept indoor and not outdoor which is very important actually when you are getting a car as well does not have any much of a strong sun damage or whatever that uh, might be actually so this is good to go from that part as well so the seats seats are pretty good as well let's take a look at this seats uh, let me actually do this way this is the under the back seats of the car carpets are in pretty good condition overall seats and everything else are good to go let's see from this side those are actually the original from the beginning this little bit of as you can see like a, a color going off a little bit but it's no problem it's 25 years old uh, car and it's understandable for uh, for this but again it's a relatively clean exter interior uh, exterior needs some work as I told you in the previous uh, a little bit earlier but the interior is relatively clean and well kept and the car is uh, pretty good condition as far as I can see so let's take a look closer on its mileage as you can see it's seven seventy six thousand uh, four hundred eighty four kilometers on the mileage let me pull up the engine compartment and let's check out the engine compartment of the car as well to see what it looks like actually okay here we go here is the engine compartment of the car relatively good to go the engine car place has got some color issues here again it can be completely fixed in color it's no problem again the engine, as you guys, I believe, remember, it's a 76,000 kilometers only, so it's not that much mileage either. This part actually easy to get the collar to be taken off, but again, we can color this to black and make it look pretty cool and clean to go, so it's no problem as well. It's got the aftermarket uh, cover bars, which is cool, um, and the engine compartment itself needs a little bit of work, uh, of course, uh, which is doable. I mean, it's a little bit of work. No problem at all. Uh, so let's see. It's a little bit dusty as well. The car as it looks right now, but yeah, it's no problem. I think, and we can work your way around. As far as, as as long as you can give a little bit of uh, love and care for the car, the car is gonna look pretty awesome and fabulous. Paint this one to back to black again. And uh, what do you call this one in English, guys? Let me know in the comments below, please. <laughs> Teach me up, everybody! So, yeah, again, as you guys can see, it's a pretty much lovely condition GTR 32. And uh, it just recently arrived, but again, since we want to be able to deliver it, the car to Dane as soon as possible, I will be taking this particular car to the port. But, by the way, another point, guys, um, a lot of Japanese 
uh, people, GTR Skyline fans actually, what they end up doing is that, if you guys notice, by pulling this one, you should be able to open up the, 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 uh, the trunk of a car. But again, a lot of people here customize the car and actually they get, uh, let me turn on the engine. They have extra spare key meat special for the trunk and because again someone who could have an access for the interior of the car some people do not want them to be able to open the trunk of the car so that they can keep their valuable stuff in the trunk so as you can see the previous owner this car also made a special key for the trunk and basically using this key we can voila open up the trunk right here so this is how the trunk of the car looks again this is uh, again this is something that needs that needs cleaning proper cleaning will make the car look pretty fabulous condition actually and i'm sure dane will be more than happy to give a, a car a proper cleaning here's how the uh, actually spare tire compartment looks like which is pretty good and clean there's no rust or anything like that i can see here uh so spare tire is good condition as well so let's put it back and i like to show you the underbody of the car as well a little bit so that you guys get to see let's see here we go, can you see it? Here we go. I mean, again, it's no big deal. The car arrived just recently. We haven't been able to prepare the car for a proper uh, cleaning and, and uh, maintenance of it. But again, uh, we will be taking the car, uh, taking care of the car before the delivery a little bit. And, but for now, I will be actually delivering a car, driving the car to the port and stay with me and uh, you will get to see the performance of a car on a highway as well and at the port side yard we have you will be taking care of the car a little bit before its delivery to dane which is probably going to be at the end of january 2019 this month probably five to ten days from now we will be able to get a vessel booked for the car and we will have the car delivered to california and i'm sure dane is very much excited dane if you're watching this video this is a lovely car and i'm sure you'll be very happy about it so let me actually get ready right now to to go to the port everybody so I am headed to the port actually we have been doing so that you guys know a lot of construction at our shop and at our shop yard so uh, and we don't have a lot of space available at our shop therefore we've been trying to move some cars around and uh, we'd like to provide the, some services and some works you like to do on this car as well at our shop but because of our heavy load of uh, schedules and and the issue of the yard uh, actually we do not have that uh, timing as well as a uh, place right now to provide the service for the cars I mean when I say service I'm saying that like uh, some uh, simple maintenance and proper cleaning of the car at our shop so but but it's no problem because you also have the facilities at our port side yard which we will be taking care of all the uh, whatever needs to be taken care of on the car at our port side yard it's no problem we actually have another Supra RZ twin turbo uh, is being shipped to the United States at the end of this month uh, January 2019 and Check out the video actually guys.
just got some gasoline. Now it's time for a boost on the highway. you guys a little bit about importing cars from Japan some people think that um, you know importing car from Japan hey I mean I have never done that or it must be difficult or people has this image that importing a car from Japan is some kind of complicated process actually it isn't uh, importing car from Japan to any part of the world and most of our clients are based from United States United Kingdom Australia and Europe importing car from Japan is very very easy actually you don't even have to leave your house to be able to import a car and have that car delivered to your front house how does process work for example let's say that um, uh, you're looking for a Nissan Skyline GTR 32 you know right all you gotta do is of course if you're following our page and everything else all you gotta do is make an inquiry saying that hey contact me for example say hey I'm in the market for um, Nissan Skyline GTR in the case of Dane which I'm driving right now his car of uh, he made an inquiry for a white color uh, Nissan Skyline GTR 32 good condition uh, and uh, with the Nismo aero, aero parts as well so you got to make that inquiry I'll get back to you with whatever available at our shop for sale and if it's not something that you don't I mean you're not interested the ones that we have and sometimes you don't have something for sale we can make a custom search in Japan meaning that we can look at all the dealerships in Japan and wherever the car that you're looking for let's say GTR 32 white collar within this mileage and stuff we can I can send you all the available ones that are available for sale in Japan and even even not available from there we can search for the auctions now, I do that again I take care of all the procedure we will be sending you different 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 offers depending on your wish list right and um, once we find the right car for you of course once you decide to purchase a particular car that you like out of the ones that I make you an offer of uh, then we will proceed okay we will issue an official invoice for you then you will have to go to your bank or just sit from your home and uh, wire whatever written on that invoice uh, to our bank account then basically from the rest when it comes to getting the export certificate issued taking care of the export booking a vessel delivery of a car to any major port in the US and Australia any part of the world that you are from we will take care of everything for you actually and if you don't want to involve yourself in a very simple import procedure as well uh, we have uh, actually uh, partners in all around the nation in most countries and we will be they will be more than happy to take care of that import work for you get your car titled if necessary and have that car delivered to your front house in a pickup truck everything we will organize at a super competitive price so that you get to get your car without moving your hands or basically moving your seat from home again very important factor that you have to have the funds to be able to purchase a car from Japan it's not a cheap procedure but again it's not that expensive as well it's a it's much cheaper much much cheaper than you think uh, to import a car uh, than what it might seem to you guys some of you guys that uh, that as a complicated procedure you know so again if you're interested in any Japanese sports cars especially in Sanskala GTRs Feel free to hit me up and uh, I'll be more than happy to I can send you offers and, and, and be helpful as much as I can to make sure that you will get your dream car delivered to you to your front house safe and secure. Almost at the port 
website right now. Performance of the car is just fabulous. I tell you what. Transmission, engine, the pull, everything is perfectly fine. And, and then the car drives beautifully. And I have been enjoying my ride so far for the past about 25 minutes or so. But um, in a bit, I will get to the port side yard where I'll drop this car off and put it at our port side parking lot. And from there, we will make an order for uh, an as soon as available vessel uh, to pick up the car and deliver it to actually to California to the hands of Dane who is excitedly waiting for his car to be delivered to good old California so everybody thank you as usual for taking your time to watch this video please feel free to uh, make comments uh, under this below. I'll be I actually I'm happy to read all the comments you guys have been super active And I thank you for all that and if you have any questions Please feel free to let me know there and if you would like to contact me directly I also leave my contact addresses below and I got my Instagram channel as well Please don't forget to follow me there if you of course enjoy my content that I've been making on this YouTube So thank you, and I look forward to see you guys in the next video. Cheers everybody